from Ayana Parana and I am doing some crocheted kinky twists. I must tell you I'm not quite sure if I like it or not. Um but that's not what we're here to talk about. Okay, so um, I already have a video on how I did these. Pre-twisted these on a curtain rod that I had actually. Rotted the ends and then here's the little loop. And just to give a demonstration of how this is supposed to go. You've seen me crochet before. But I'm gonna take the latch hook like this open. Slide it underneath the braid. Once it's underneath the braid, I'm going to attach the hair like this close the hook, pull the hair through, then remove the lash hook. So I will show you that. And believe it or not, even with the Marley hair being as thick as it is, it doesn't hurt to pull it through my hair. Now I did just do some straight back um, corn rolls and I didn't add any hair to like anchor it because I wasn't really sure how this was going to go what it was going to look like so um yeah and I may have to try to close this part a little bit at the top and I'm just looping it once like I'm not doing anything else to like knot it and um in retrospect, I think um, that if I was to do this again, okay, so first of all, let's start off with this hair. This Marley hair that I have is recycled hair. If you see my video on how I did my Havana twist, this is that same exact hair. I kept it. Once I took it out, I washed it, and now I'm reusing it. Because time is hard, child. Ain't nobody got time to be going buying eight, nine, ten packs of some hair that costs five dollars a pack. So nonetheless, I um, washed that hair. What I did this time, I didn't cut it. Um, I used two pieces per twist versus three, like I did for the Havana twist. Now, what I would do for this style, if I were to do it again, is I would cut the hair in half. And I would use um, different rollers. What I used was the very skinny rods, um, the yellow ones, if you know, cold wave rods. And I rolled them up just a little bit. I would use the white or the gray ones the next time and roll them up tighter to give me a more shorter layered look, if that makes sense. But um, this is what I have. Because I'm not sure that I'm really in love with it or that I like it that much. I may keep it um, only for maybe two weeks in time enough for me to order some hair, possibly get a sew in. But um, I'll do another twist on camera just to kind of give you the full effect and then I will add some pictures. So here we go. So I'm just going to continue that throughout. I may, once I get in here, pinch this together to kind of close up the gap. I tried to make my braids closer together, but I'm not the best at braiding. I do a little something um, as far as corn rolling. But let's see if I can close this up. There we go. And just pull it and it closes those together. All right, well, I'm gonna keep going cookies and I'll come back with pictures. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.